A program bringing families closer to fresh, locally grown food could be in jeopardy due to a failing federal contract. Farmers markets like the one in downtown Syracuse have been accepting SNAP or food stamps for about 10 years. And tonight, Farah Jodron shows us how losing the program could hurt farmers' pockets. Getting good food on the table, something Lori Durant focuses on with each customer, no matter how they're paying. Durant says allowing people to pay with food stamps and other benefits boosts their business, adding thousands of dollars of income to the farm. It brings people who weren't familiar with the market um, down here, and then it gives them the opportunity to buy the fresh fruits and vegetables that maybe they didn't have the opportunity to buy before. Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, can be used at hundreds of farmers markets across the state, including the Syracuse Downtown Farmers Market. While the USDA figures out how to further extend the contract to continue accepting SNAP, the program is only secure until August 31st. When money comes out of their card, goes into our bank account. Their benefit card comes off their benefit card, goes into our bank account. So automatically, money has been transferred over, and we give them whatever number of tokens that they wanted to purchase. We give them a receipt, which prints out here, and they they take these tokens to any of the vendors they want. The goal is to promote healthy eating. The efforts don't stop there. For every cooking demonstration you attend here at the farmer's market, you'll get two of these coupons, extending your budget for fruits and vegetables by $4. If the EBT technology contract isn't settled soon, new equipment expenses could fall on farmers like Durat. I guess we would have to weigh the cost to the benefit of it for us, but we really wouldn't want to lose those customers either. To learn more about the program or to find a participating farmer's market near you, and that includes the city of Rochester's public market, look for this story at rochesterfirst.com.